Want to take you live to the United Nations in New York. We're getting some breaking news out of there. The General Assembly has voted and has just suspended Russia from the Human Rights Council. Now, it was the U.S. that pushed for the vote over allegations that Russian soldiers killed civilians while those soldiers were retreating from areas around uh, Kyiv. Reporter Will Denslow is right there in New York. He is covering that vote at the United Nations. So, Will, walk me through that vote. How did it play out? Well, essentially, what we saw was that 93 nations voted in favor of the move to suspend Russia from the UN Human Rights Council. 24 voted against it, with some 58 abstentions. Now, significantly, abstentions didn't really count against uh, the move, uh, considering a two-thirds majority was needed. Therefore, uh, this move, this resolution, was very much adopted. This comes in a week where Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., uh, said that Russia's inclusion on the Human Rights Council was, quote, a farce, a height of hypocrisy, dangerous as well. Before nations had the chance to vote, uh, Ukraine's ambassador to the United Nations likened the UN Human Rights Council to the Titanic heading towards a um, towards an iceberg, and it was important for the international community to help correct course. For its part, Russia has once again uh, very much, though, uh, condemned the move, saying that uh, it's the West that's uh, guilty of trying to change norms when it comes to uh, international human rights systems. And how is Russia responding, Will? Absolutely. Well, strong condemnation. They spoke before the vote. They're expected to address the international community again a little later as well, now uh, that voting has taken place. Speaking before the international community had the chance to cast their votes, according to Reuters, there were strong warnings from Russian officials uh, that any vote either in favour of this move to suspend them or a vote in abstention would be viewed as an unfriendly gesture with consequences for bilateral ties. Russia uh, also very much reiterating their position that they believe that the images coming out of Bucha uh, near Kiev uh, were doctored, very much pointing the finger of blame at the West, saying that it is Russia that has historically uh, been a force for good when it comes to human rights, trying to promote dialogue uh, in conflict areas. And it's the likes of the US and its Western allies that are guilty of destabilizing the international community. So it's strong response, as you might expect from Moscow. We will talk again. Reporter Will Denslow at the United Nations in New York.